it's really, really nice to see a comeback victory by the Yankees. And uh, they've had their, per their first pinch hit home run of the year today. And we'll go over that. And it was just a, a hard-fought win in their first game of a three-game series in Baltimore. They took the game by a score of 5-4. to four. It was a come-from-behind victory. And uh, you should just see the energy shift at that point. So the Yankees got on the board in the beginning in the first inning with an Aaron Judge solo shot. And then uh, Austin Hayes tied it at 1-1. One to one. Judge came back, and I think it was the fourth, and hit another solo shot. So he had two for the day, make it uh, two to one at that point. And then went through a collection of hits, one of which was an RBI double by Trey Mancini. The Baltimore Orioles went up by a score of four to two, uh, all on Corey Kluber, who went six innings. He did give up four runs, but he hung in there and he fought and gave the Yankees six good innings for their bullpen, six solid innings, I should say, for the for the bullpen to come and take the rest. And he threw. He had about six strikeouts, two walks. You know, some, uh, you know, a couple of mistake pitches that that were hit, and um, you know, not surprised. It's a young, dynamic lineup, but he hung in there. And then uh, Chad Green came out and took over in the set in the seventh, through a scoreless seventh. Wandy Peralta threw a scoreless eighth, and Johnny Lasagna came in in the ninth and threw a scoreless ninth to close the game out at five to four. Cl clutch game overall. And by the way, in the seventh inning, the first pinch hit home run of the season came on off the bat of Gio Urshela. Pinch hitter, three run shot, put the Yankees up five to four. He was pumped. The team was pumped. It was. It was. You saw the momentum completely shift in the game as soon as he hit that home run, and it was awesome to see. And the bullpen obviously did its usual job. Came in and shut down the team. Kept the kept the lead, and just like they've been doing pretty much all year, and uh, you know gave the Yankees another win. And if the, you know if the Yankees win one more game, it's a three game series. They'll have won another series, and that would be, I think it was 9 out of 10 last series, or 8 out of the 9, 10 last series. They will have won, and the one that they haven't won was a tie in two games to two. So they've been playing some really good baseball over the last couple of weeks, much better than the first two weeks or three weeks of the season. So they've, they've turned their season around, and I think they're back to four games over 500 again, and slowly working their way up you know, towards Boston Hill. will be playing soon. And they got some other teams in the White Sox and the Texas Rangers coming up as well. So they have a they have a pretty tough schedule coming up. And and, I, and I'm not going to discount Baltimore out either. They have, they have a young, dynamic lineup. There's some good veterans in there too, like Trey Mancini. Who it's really good to see him back from cancer and stuff like that. Uh, and, and it's just nice to see. But I'm not giving it. You know, uh, discounting any of these teams in the AL East. The the division's tight. And it could go all the way down to the wire. It really could by the way the teams are playing. I think there's some sev there's several teams that will make a move before the deadline or at the deadline or a couple of moves to really go after uh, the division. Because there actually isn't any just vastly dominant team in either league this year, actually. It was you know the assumption that the Dodgers were going to be ripping them apart, but then they lost like 16 out of the last 20 games. It was it's, it's crazy. Or 10, was it 12 out of the last 17 or something like that. And the Giants are playing better. The Padres are playing. You know, the Red Sox are playing well. The Brewers are playing well. The Royals, like, it's 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 nice to see divisions wide open and with other teams kind of leading. And hopefully, some of them get an opportunity to stay up there and keep the lead, which makes things a little bit more interesting. So, um, I do expect the Yankees to make a move. I do I do expect the Orioles to make a move. And they still have some of their young stud players like Adley Rushman, who's the number two prospect in all of baseball, yet to come up. He's when he's in the new catching prospect of, of the future. He's one of the best catching prospects since Joe Maurer, even even before Joe Maurer. So I would expect him to come up soon. And you know, they'll be they have some other young dynamic players coming up too. So I wouldn't discount them out much longer. I mean it's gonna be a tough division uh, moving forward. I thought it was going to be weaker than it is, but teams are pretty competitive actually in America. All over the all over the place. So it's nice to see. It's nice to see, and you know, some of these teams have made low-key moves that have turned out to be bigger than some of the flashy moves that teams have made. So that's also nice to see. That's why a lot of my trade proposals are not blockbusters either. They're, I do blockbuster trade proposals, and I put those in the description. I put, put those videos out. So if you like those, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss them. Um, but I put regular trades out too because a lot of times, more often than not, these, these incremental moves that are kind of win-wins for both teams are the ones that make the biggest impact. So it's one reason I do those more than I do blockbusters, but it's fun doing blockbusters and, and just bizarre wild trade proposals too. So I'm going to keep doing those as well for your enjoyment. So I, I do hope you enjoy them. People can hate all they want, but um, it is what it is. So, but for those that, you know, that's, that have been with me for a long time, I appreciate all of you. You're the best. And I'm going to continue putting out good content and I'm working on enhancing the quality of the videos too. Soon I'm going to have a custom intro to phase into the, uh, into the videos, which would be pretty cool. 
and uh, for your enjoyment too. So I think you're gonna like it. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. So, but aside from that, that's the recap tonight. Yankees win five four. First game of three game series in Baltimore, and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.